um, do you think it's, it has anything to do with um, the pain of uh, vaginal labor? I think <clears throat> I was dealing with that and then dealing with this at the same time. So I was dealing with the fact that I went through so much pain. And in the end, I felt like the pain was needless pain because I didn't push my baby out. Like, then right from when I got to the hospital at 5 o'clock, I should have just gone into the theater to have the CS. Because I felt like it was needless pain I went through. So I was dealing with that. And then the recovery from the CS is something no one tells you about. Like, it's hard. Like, it's a major surgery, a major abdominal surgery. How to even get out of bed. It's a whole ball game all together and you are supposed to be taking care of a very tiny human who is very helpless so like and they are getting up every two hours to eat so when they are crying that you have to summon the energy to get up out of bed without hurting yourself and hurting your wound and feeding them changing them you know so i was dealing i literally felt like i'd been run over a purpose i didn't know what to do so that's when I ended up calling a friend. I actually spoke with three friends, and they took their time, and, and they all had um, cesareans. So like they gave me tips and how they dealt with everything, which was so helpful. And I was so glad that I had spoken to them prior to giving birth, such that I knew who to call because I had gone through that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, how long did it... Uh last and when did you come when did you finally feel the bond between you and your child <clears throat> what okay. was going through your mind all this while hmm. so because hmm. these friends had told me that it's normal eventually you begin to feel the bond i felt better about myself like i didn't feel too bad about it but exactly a week after he was born he was born on a Saturday. So the following Saturday, which is like being alive for seven days, I wept the whole day. And I couldn't figure out why I was weeping. So then my husband is like, what is going on with you? And I was like, I don't know. And I felt really terrible. I felt really terrible because I was like, there are so many women out there who don't have children and you have you've been able to go through pregnancy you've given birth and your child has been alive for seven days i felt like the seven days was very significant you know like how in our culture you name a child uh, uh -huh. so it's like if we're doing it traditionally so that number. day would have named like would have had the ceremony and everything so it's like why are you so sad it's like i was so sad that day the whole day i was like what is wrong with me like this cute little human is alive and he's well. Why are you crying? You know, so I'm so glad I had my husband with me. And at that time, we were at my parents' house. But thankfully, I think for some reason that day they were in home. So it was just us. So, like, I really cried. Like, I was free to cry without being scared that my dad would walk in and be like, What's going on with you or something? 